Hey guys, Charles here with 3D Printer OS to show you the new and improved updated STL editor. So now that I've got my files uploaded, the first thing I want to do is select my applications here for my touchdown duck and select STL editor. Here you can see that the touchdown duck is just off the bed here. I'm going to select my printer bed so I know I have the right size with my replicator too. And now I want to select my bed, my duck to go on bed and in the center. One of the features that have been uh, requested recently has been the ability to add extra files to the bed, and we went ahead and done that here. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit, a couple of duck friends here uh, with my touchdown duck. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move him forward so I can make room for his friends. Now I'm going to go ahead and select Add File, and I actually want to go ahead and select other ducks. So I'm going to select my ducks project here, and let's add the gas mask duck. So I'm going to select the gas mask duck, select Apply. And there you see Gas Mac Dusk Duck is on the bed. I'm going to go ahead and select him in the center. I'm going to move him up just a little bit, make sure he's on the bed. All right. So let's add, let's say one more here. Add file. I want to add my Cloud Duck. Apply. Oh, there's Cloud Duck, but he's, he's not facing the right way. So let's make sure he gets out of the way here. And we'll rotate him around so he's uh, in line with the rest of his friends the same way. All right, let's actually go ahead and move him back a little bit more because I want to add one more duck in the row here just to make things even. Add file, and who do I not have? I don't have scuba duck, and he's my favorite. Apply. There's scuba duck, he's off to the side too. Let's go ahead and put him on the bed in the center, and we'll move him back just a little bit. So that you can see now that we've added new files to the print bed with the ducks. Now the other things that we have a few more applications that we've added into the SDL as well. The other thing that you could do is you could actually duplicate things that are already on the print bed. So if, let's say if I wanted to make uh, duplicates of my touchdown duck, I would simply select the touchdown duck and then select this little rabbit here and it'll basically keep adding additions of that duck. So I could add him. So you get quickly and easily make duplicates and, and add new files to the print bed that way as well. The other thing that you can do is if you don't want these ducks here, you can just go ahead and, and delete them here. But let's say you want to have a lot of different files in your print bed. You, you want to pack this thing full. Let's say you, know, you really want to add a bunch of scuba ducks because who doesn't love scuba ducks? So I'm just going to keep adding a bunch of scuba ducks here. And I, I kind of want to fit it in here and kind of play a little Tetris, if you will, uh, with my scuba ducks. and add another one of his friends here, go like this. And it, the other thing that you can do is, is while you're actually building things on the bed, you could actually, instead of deleting them, you could simply make them go away so that you can easily fit them in and see how things fit and where they fit in the print bed. So this is a really cool feature that we think is gonna help people when they're doing projects or collaborating along the way. So let's go ahead and rotate this guy around again as well. You know, on the bed in the center. Let's uh, move him back just a little. All right, I don't need scuba duck, he can go away. I don't need scuba duck, he can go away. I do want to take him though. Let's move him back just a little bit. Let's stick him on the bed. We'll get rid of his friend Cloud Duck. So we just have our four original ducks. And actually, since scuba duck is my favorite, I just want to make him a little bit bigger. You know, there's got to be a king, right? So now that I have my, my ducks in a row, if you will, I'm just going to go ahead and save this file. It's going to ask me if I want to delete the project. In this case, I do not. So it'll actually add the, the, new, the new ducks to the original ducks project here. And then once the progress is done, that file will essentially become one file, and I'll have the ability to slice and magic fix or any other applications um, that we have here available, NetFab, etc. So just go to my 3D viewer just to take a quick look at this duck project. And there you have it. Scuba Duck is king. Well, that's all there is to it, guys. If you have any questions, you could always hit us up at the forum at 3dprintos.com slash forum. And uh, as always, happy printing.